What's up guys and welcome to the next uh, crack a pack video today We're opening up champions of Kamigawa. I think we've only opened this up once before if I'm not mistaken It was only once uh, this is a very interesting set for sure a lot of mispronunciations are coming your way So I do apologize uh, But definitely an interesting set not super well received at the time of release uh, But there are some really cool cards in it if I can get it open uh, that of course we will go through every single one and hopefully figure out what our draft pick would be if we were in a pack one pick one scenario So I did not draft this set so I do not know every card in here and what's the best way to go uh, But I'll certainly do the best I can so We'll kick it off our first common is Sokinzen Bruiser again Apologize if I'm mispronouncing anything, but it is a 3-3 for 4 and a red and it has mountain walk uh, not a super exciting card in my opinion. Again, I didn't play with this set, so I don't know if this is like off base or not, but just in general, uh, this doesn't seem all that good. 3-3 uh, three, three for 5 is really bad. Mountain Walk obviously makes it better against one color, but that's really it. Uh, so not super exciting in my opinion. Council of the Saratami, uh, 2 and a blue for a sorcery. Draw 2 cards. Pretty straightforward. This is basically divination. Uh, but I do like this card definitely better than the bruiser in general I'm not a huge huge fan of like Single card card draw kind of a thing and what I mean by that is you draw two cards But you spend one to get it so you're really paying three mana just to replace and then add a card Obviously that's worth it. That's value, but uh, in general in limited I want a little bit more things that interact with the board uh, and so drawing cards while definitely powerful and definitely something I want is not at the top of my priority list But I do like this card, so I will keep that here uh, Kami of the hunt is a 2-2 for two and a green uh, It is a spirit which is relevant and whenever you play a spirit or arcane spell Kami of the hunt gets plus one plus one until end of turn uh, I think this is a fine card. I don't think it's amazing. Uh, it's a 2-2 two, two for 3, which is like not great, but obviously you're going to be pumping it up. Uh, but ideally, I mean, in a perfect world, you're going to be able to pump it up multiple times, but most likely it's probably just going to be once, maybe twice at most. Uh, and so I'm not like amazed by this card by any means, but I think it's fine. I think I'd still like the council over it though. Uh, Scuttling Death is a 4-2 four, for 4 and a black. <coughs> Excuse me uh, a spirit as well sacrifice it and target creature gets minus one minus one until end of turn And it also has soul shift four uh, So whenever this creature is put into a graveyard from play you may return target spirit card with converted mana cost four or less from your graveyard to your hand This is much more powerful. I like this card a lot uh, It's not amazing by any means, but you do get to soul shift into other things, which I like uh, blessed breath is an instant arcane spell for one white uh, target creature you control gains protection from the color of your choice until end of turn this also has splice onto arcane for one white so as you play this spell or as you play an arcane spell you may reveal this card from your hand and pay its splice cost if you do add this card's effect to that spell and what that amounts to is basically you get multiple activations off of the same card you basically pick one of these arcane spells play it uh, and then splice onto it the blessed breath, but then you get to keep this card into in your hand So you get to reuse it. Uh, it's a really really powerful ability for sure. I like it a lot, but on this card not very exciting uh, Protection things like that is not the best way to go in limited so not too excited about it uh, Heart Kami is a 2-1 for 1 and a red you can pay X and sacrifice it and destroy target artifact with mana cost X uh, this is certainly a card that I feel like I would play in a red deck. Uh, it's a 2-1 for 2, so it's not like terrible. Uh, it's not amazing, but it's not terrible, and it does have the, the option to destroy an artifact, uh, which is relevant sometimes. Uh, it's not amazing, but it does help. Uh, just to have that built into your main board is probably fine. Uh, that being said, it's not better than the Scuttling Death in my opinion. Uh, Silent Chant uh, Zabera. I, I'm so sorry if I'm mispronouncing these. It's a 1-2 for 1 and a white. Uh, when it's put into the graveyard from play, you gain 2 life for each Zabera put into a graveyard from play this turn. Not a very exciting card. Uh, definitely don't like this. Life gain in general I don't like, but especially this where it's so specific. Just not very good. Uh, Ember Fist Zabera <laughs> uh, is a 1-2 for 1 and a red. When it's put into a graveyard from play, it deals damage to target creature or player equal to the number of Zabera. Uh, put into all graveyards from play this turn again. They all sort of have this effect. I believe uh, and so it's fine It's better than the other but I still don't really like it that much uh, It gets incidental damage, which is why I like it better 
uh, but it's still just kind of a one two for two it's it's not very good I don't think uh, field of reality enchanted creature for two and a blue the creature can't be blocked by spirits and you can pay one and a blue to return to field of reality to its owner's hand uh, I don't think that this is a very good card I know spirits are pretty rampant uh, obviously in this set which is a reason to want to play this if you are an aggressive deck you'd probably want to get through for some damage but uh, in general not a huge fan of this so you kind of always have to leave up two mana just to bounce it in case like the creature dies or something and so it just I feel like would become a little bit more of a liability long term because it opens yourself up for either a two for one or you're kind of strangling up two mana for the rest of the game so don't really like that <coughs> uh, frost wielder is two and two red for a one two uh, you can tap it and it deals one damage to target creature or player if a creature dealt damage by frost wielder this turn would be put into a graveyard remove it from the game instead uh, this seems like a pretty powerful card honestly uh, I like this a lot uh, it keeps things out of the graveyard which gets things around soul shift which I think is really important uh, but uh, it also gets around the Zubera, whatever they're called but uh, I do really like this card it's a little expensive obviously at four for a one two that deals some damage but the incidental upside is really really good uh, if, for instance, if you're in combat and you know a creature is going to die uh, that maybe has soul shift or something like that uh, before damage is actually dealt, uh, but it, between the blockers and the damage step, uh, you just tap this deal one damage to it and then it does actually get exiled that turn. So uh, I really like this. Um, I don't know if it's better than Scuttling Death to be honest, but I'll keep it here for now. Uh, Mystic Restraints is 2 and 2 blue for an enchant creature. Uh, you may play it at any time you could play an instant. And um, when it comes into play, tap the enchanted creature. The, that creature doesn't untap during its controller's untap step. Uh, this is just great blue removal. Uh, honestly, I think this is probably really, really good in the blue deck. Uh, it's a little expensive at four, but that honestly is not bad. You can play it at instant speed, basically, which is great. Uh, and so I do like this. Uh, I don't know if it's better than the other ones, but we'll keep it here for now. Uh, Hideous Laughter is two and two black for an instant arcane spell. Uh, all creatures get minus two, minus two until end of turn, and then you can splice it for three and two black. Uh, this would go well in like a self-destructive Zubera deck, uh, where you just play a bunch of them, and then Hideous Laughter all of them, and then they all die at once and deal whatever effects that they need to deal, which is, I'm sure, an archetype and would be pretty fun to do. Uh, but in general, I don't really... Uh, I, I guess I would like this card in like a black control deck or like a blue-black kind of style deck. Uh, definitely a powerful ability for sure uh, so I do like it but in general I like the other cards that we have better uh, dance of shadows three and two black for a sorcery arcane spell creatures you control get plus one plus zero and gain fear until end of turn uh, pretty powerful but uh, I'm not a huge fan of this in a black deck I feel like you're not really trying to go as wide you're probably trying to control the game a little bit more uh, and so generally speaking not a huge fan of that <coughs> gale force a sorcery for four and a green uh, deals five damage to each creature with flying. Obviously pretty good in a uh, green deck or something like that where you don't necessarily have a lot of flyers, uh, but it's going to be hit or miss. It's more of a sideboard card. You're not always going to face a deck that has a lot of flying in it, uh, and so it could just be a five mana removal spell, or it could just be a five mana dead card. Uh, either way, not amazing, uh, but obviously if you are against sort of a blue-white classic flyers deck or something like that, or even a spirits deck where there tend to be a lot of flyers, uh, you can Gale Force and hopefully get rid of a lot of them, which is pretty good. Uh, and then Yosai the Morning Star is our rare. So <clears throat> a 5-5 five, five for 4 and 2 white with flying. Uh, when it's put into a graveyard from play, target player skips his or her next untap step. Uh, tap up to 5 target permanents that player controls. This is definitely going to be the card that I pick. Uh, it's hugely powerful. It's just a 6 mana flyer for that is 5-5, five, five, which is great with upside as soon as it's put into the graveyard so pretty clear winner in my opinion it's not too crazy to be able to cast it for six so i like that uh and it's just hugely powerful so definitely my pick please let me know in the comment section if you disagree with me uh, but if you did enjoy this video please make sure to leave a like or a comment down below and as always please make sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of our awesome content but with that i'm gonna get out of here i will see you guys in the next crack a pack video